Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Metro Exodus and House Edition. I will be doing more commentary once I get through this section because I'm failing a lot. Not only because of my own ineptitude, but also the game prepping out. The stealth knockout mechanic not working in critical moments. Which is of course pretty bad. I will be with you. I will keep you safe. Provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology. And even more so, do you reject Satan deception? That thing they call electric current. This curse is drift the enemy cave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. Amen, my children! For the electric current is saving the cave and his own poison. Only those who reject the entity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the starving. Who is in the beach? So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who would attack our cross. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us steal ourselves against them, for this is our hour of glory. Amen. Amen. So let your hands stay the enemy's servants with no less or less. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is we are retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive everything fine. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done! But for he will devour them, body and soul. For one can raise himself of gunpowder, but electricity puts an eternal brand upon the sinners. So let us call to the starfish. Come, O starfish! And even more so, do you reject faith and deception? The thing they call the legend. The curse exists, the enemy came to the fool. So that they would fancy themselves upon the power. Upon the power for the king. We reject. Temptation and with poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the starfish. No, 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 no. So let us not fear the heretics and our God. All right, the game is crapping out over there, but if I can use it to my advantage, fine by me. Somehow that dude... Somehow that dude looked the other way. I don't mind. <laughs> Alright, is this then finally it? Ah, no, there's another dude. 
Alright, he looks to be stationary. There's a guy to the right. Who is not, I think. Guys, out now. This is the farthest I got in this area. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Checking out for any collectibles. Even with their iron feet standing before us, still king of machine oil and shining its electrical light upon us, we will not fall down. Let us steal ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. Amen. Right, so that are just. Uh, the people's with no rest I want to try that door but I don't think I can open it and I'm afraid that the reverend people will see me I will try it anyways all right I need a key Alright, we may not yet be in the clear yet. Are there dudes over there? And even more so. Do you reject Satan? He said, The king that calls the electric curse. The curse is with the enemy gave to the fool. So the day would find the no idea where this ends up. About God, all of my power for the king. We reject. Ah, okay, we're looping around over here. Alright, below I took out everything. This door is locked up there. The ones who would attack our cluster. Even with their iron feet standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not fall down. Alright, I think it's a bit of a shame, but I don't think there are any collectibles in this area. So that means I just missed one book and two photographs in the Volga area. I also have no ID. Where is the 
when we carry out the will of our Lord. Sherman being done for him. And punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall stagger. I don't see Silencius anywhere. His will be done. His will be done. Let's double check if there is not anything downstairs. No, I don't see anything. Checking if there's anything there, but I don't really see anything. So there are like two more guards down below which I could take out. But the question is, is, it, is that worth it? I don't have an auto save. And I wonder whether the churchgoers themselves can also trigger an alert phase. Right, the guy to the right, he does randomly. This guy down below, I can just take out. But the guy to the right is randomly looking all over the place. Which will be quite uh, dangerous. Uh, for the rest, there really is nothing there, I would say. So probably best to just leave them be over there. So there is one to the right of there. So let us call to the starfish. Come on, starfish. All right, there's one sitting down now. Is that the same guy? I think it is. Alright, I don't see any other. Ah, now he's sitting, standing up again. You know what? I'm just gonna gamble it. Screw it. Oh, that's a close one. My, um, thing didn't trigger. Almost. And this is actually pretty nice. Now I officially took them out, all of them. Let's see if there's any key here. Key here. Uh, this is probably Amen. just for those religious people to get to once there is an alert state. Alright, 
For the rest, there's nothing here, I would say. Punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates um, shall scatter like dust in the wind. Yeah, already checked it out over here. There's just not that much here. And everything that is here. I cleared out. But electricity puts an eternal brand upon the sinners. So let us call to the starfish. Come on, And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? The thing they call electric current. The curse right, here we go. the enemy gave to the fools. So that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than Him. Mm. We'll never get past the starfish. Come to you, damned heretics. You took Gatcha, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker, too. Oh look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time. And Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. You are to Lord, you here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. We don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Kill you, loud and clear. Come this way out. All hands, hold your fire and kill order. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> Right, I thought we were supposed to save Duke. Yeah, it says Duke completed. We left completed. Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Alright. Apparently, be maybe because I stealthed my way through it, I didn't Artyom. need to save him. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Alright, I am not, and I'm a little bit um, bummed out that I missed 
be one, two, three, fourth um, faded note. And yeah, I'm not sure whether I missed the postcard because it could be that the ones that are marked not collected, that that actually now becomes the new area. So that it's part of the new area. But at least I missed one postcard. That's a bummer. I was hoping that I could find it. Um, or one diary, sorry. I was hoping I could find that uh, in the bridge area. But I should have before going into the bridge. Because I was pretty sure that indeed we would not be able to go back anymore. That we just hit a cutscene like we did now and uh, exit the area. I should have yeah, checked the open world for that last diary diary but yeah that's also easier said than done it's a pretty big world i do have uh, some idea where it should have been <coughs> but still missed one uh, all right it's still uh, pretty good i think i have 12 out of 13 it's still pretty good score stay here for a bit Artyom. This is great. Aren't I you? wish I could stay like this forever. It's a pretty freaky Atom, hands. When you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know. There's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night. Always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Celantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? <sighs> people in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us, in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> Katya and Crest. Never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? 
But father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant. Be careful. The enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot. No matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. No problem. Let's just sit here a little. All right, run along. Dad wanted something. Right, is that a collectible? No, oh. Sorry. Let's see if there's more dialogue. It's like living in a fairy tale. A prince has rescued his princess from a monster infested dungeon and is taking her to his magic kingdom where they are going to live happily ever after. Do you think we're going to find that kingdom in the end? Though, if it's with you, I'll be fine anywhere. <coughs> live happily ever after is the most important part as far as I'm concerned. Waiting for some dialogue. There's in this game. There's a lot of hidden dialogue. I noticed. Leaving already? Well, go get them, Tiger. All right. Let's check it out. Let's stay like this for a bit longer. Thank you. Pressing some uh, D-pad buttons, see if anything happens. Nothing much. Right, I of course don't have a HUD, so I'm not really sure what buttons to press. <laughs> I know that D-pad right is doing some uh, caressing. Maybe now I have to press the interact button. Nope. All right, I will try it one more time. I know the D-pad left is standing up, I think. All right. <laughs> I think she would be ready for a kiss, but at least she's looking like that. But I have no idea what, <laughs> what button to press. All right, let's try it again. I don't think it's the interact button. <laughs> I think I missed my chance. Yeah. I missed my chance. All right, see you later. Time to go. Okay, let me get up. Anywho, um, yeah, pretty bummed that I missed that one collectible, but it is what it is. We can read about probably a little bit more about the characters, although we already read most of them. 
maybe some more monster types. We probably have some new weapons and a lot of dialogue options. Uncle Joe, Uncle Joe, Uncle Doctor has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Uh, we'll check it later. The lighting is, by the way, pretty cool indeed. With the ray tracing. It does look a bit better uh, than I remember it. Um, but I think I am taking a little break. And we'll be continuing in the next episode. Guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. And for the meantime, do not forget always... By the way, did we get an autosave after that dialogue here? I sure hope so, because I don't want to do that again. Um, yeah, how to tackle that? Can I sleep here and autosave? No. No. Let's check over here. Maybe over here. No. Over here. Hello, people. No. Love birds. All right. Ah, whatever. I will just see where it loads up. Maybe I have to press another button. Buttons on the train are pretty convoluted with the D-pad. Alright, whatever. Um, I'm uh, ending the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget. Always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.